Hello, my name is Dr. Manager Motagi. I have a doctorate in psychology of organization consulting and employee training. I also teach for UCLA uh, Mindful Awareness Research Center. Uh, I have founded a, a center in Tarzana, California called Perfectly Here, where we teach uh, all kinds of courses, retreats, and workshops for people to come in and learn about how to be present, how to uh, re release their own stress, how to live life fully with the determination for happiness and well-being. <clears throat> and I always tell my students, uh, no matter the circumstance, you are not obligated to suffer. So that means in the midst of any kind of uh, unhappiness or struggle or um, death or loss or anything, we are not obligated to continue to be unhappy. And so, um, my talk is about grief because I just recently, a few months ago, lost my own son, which is devastating. It's been awful. It's been the worst thing could, that could ever happen to any parent or any being. And I go, went through a lot of uh, intense emotions of uh, anger, grief, and all kinds of uh, difficult, uh, challenging uh, emotions. And so with my own practice of uh, being present to these emotions and feeling them, uh, it allowed me to uh, be, have compassion, my heart to open for myself and say, no, no, I can't, I don't want to live this life of a mother who's, who's, uh, who's lost a child forever. And I, I want to continue living my life fully, just like before, before this happened. I knew what happiness was. I knew what being confident, competent was. And I want to learn that, uh, live that life again. And so having practiced it myself and regulating my own emotions and not falling into the depth of these abyss kind of a uh, holes, emotional holes, I learned uh, a lot of it. I learned a lot and I want to transfer that to people. How, how not to be stuck with any kind of difficult emotions or difficult situations, especially when one has lost a loved one. How to uh, be able to have compassion for oneself and how to let the emotions pass. How not to cling to any kind of stories, any kind of um, regret, shame, anything that shows up that is really very natural to show up when, when there is grief. And. Um, I've been able to uh, to live to live my life after my son's death, and I want to tell people the, the truth about grief, about emotions, about our own responsibility for happiness. And uh, the classes I have offered have been very effective. People who have had been uh, uh, grieving for years and years, within the few weeks uh, into the class, they were completely released, and they they began to live their life as if they are a full human being regardless of uh, their circumstance. And so I believe that this is a perfect uh, uh, topic for the TED TEDx uh, <laughs> forum because more people can, can see it. This is a universal subject, universal pain and suffering of, of humanity who um, everybody experiences death and loss of loved ones and so I would love to let people know the truth how to navigate the truth of these emotions thank you so much for the opportunity and I look forward to an interview with uh, all of you thank you so much